Hey, Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. Wanted to go over a little bit today on sites, equipment, and projects. They're all a little different, and you got to understand the nuances between them. So we roll up on a job site, right? Uh, ideally, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the refresh button down here on the um, equipment map, and that's going to load up any equipment that has been installed on a site in your area. In this case here, uh, we actually have two sites. We have TrueTech Tools and we have uh, Manifold Cloud Services. Both companies are on the same building, but we have two different sites because they're two different companies. So obviously, a, uh, on a pin up here and start a project from, the, uh, from a pin, right? And this would be a project at, uh, at TrueTech Tools or a project at Manifold Cloud Services or we can go up to the top and we can actually do this from the tasks. So when we start testing from the tasks, you always want to start out with some kind of a test. In this case here, we're going to use the, the cooling uh, retro commissioning test. This is the best test that we start with because it's going to allow you to name the site and it's also going to allow you to name the equipment. The subsequent uh, service projects are really designed just around service, so they really don't have any way of entering a site information in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on an AC Retro Commissioning, and you're going to see it pops up that I can either cancel this test or I can create a new site or I can add uh, equipment to the site or simply select the equipment from the site. So I'm going to start with Add Select Equipment. When I hit Add Select Equipment, it's going to pull up a quick list of showing all the equipment in the area that's been serviced in the past by location of my uh, geolocation. So you can see the furthest ones away are 400 of a mile away um, and the closest ones are 200s, right? And at this point I can uh, do a couple things. I can refresh the location so it'll just, you know, refresh the, the geolocation. I can add a system to a local site or I can create a new site and new system. So if I add system to a local site, what that's going to do is it's going to pull up the two sites that we have, TrueText Tool Site and Manifold Cloud Services Site. So if I click on one of those, Manifold Cloud Services, it's going to pull up all the equipment that's underneath Manifold Cloud Services. This is all of our lab equipment. If I go back, I can hit on TrueTech Tools, it's going to pull up the equipment that's underneath TrueTech Tools systems right now. At this point, I can um, either select the equipment I want to work on or I can create a new system. So if I was, let's say, doing a new system at TrueTech Tools, I'd hit create a new system and this is the point where it's going to unlock. So I hit continue here and uh, it's going to open up the, the project. Now once you're in a project, it's assuming you're going to service some kind of equipment. And at that point, it's pulled in because I've added equipment to a job site, it's pulled in the site information, the customer information. So all this stuff is pre-filled out. You don't have to fill this out again. But as far as the equipment goes, we're gonna wanna, uh, number one, drag and drop a pin on that map to mark that piece of equipment, right? And so um, then we name that equipment. In this case here, I'll put a, I must have bumped electrical. We'll name it Mark's Office. Okay, so we now we've named that equipment Mark's office, and then we do our, our profile and our system information, etc. When we exit and we save that project, so we'll exit and sync to cloud, it's going to save that piece of equipment to that site. So now you can see that I have Mark's office on here, I have Eric's office on here. Uh, so now we have two pieces of equipment underneath that. If I hit start testing again, and let's say we go back in for service, add select equipment. Now it's going to pull up Mark's office is one of the selections I have yet and this system doesn't have a name or ID yet because I haven't gone through and actually done um, you know got, got this all set up. Now the other thing I can do is I can create a new, syst a new site and this might be used in a case of um, and okay now notice here I'm in a service workflow. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually going to exit this workflow because it doesn't have a place I can put the equipment information in, but I don't have a place to put the site in. So let me exit out of that for just a second. Uh, I'm just exit and delete the project because I don't need it. I'm going to go back into start testing and go back into a, a AC installation retro commissioning. So we'll hit create new site. So 
Now, again, neither time did it unlock the project. It doesn't unlock till we're actually ready to unlock it. So the, the job site now, you'll see it'll come up as a standard like site 21 or something like that. You'll want to click that and you want to back that off um, and put in whatever name. So if this was a PWG uh, Auto Glass, then we name the site, uh, that site. We put our customer information in, right? get all that filled out, hit continue, and then put on our piece of equipment, and then we drag and drop our piece of equipment, let's say over here to the auto glass store, right? and uh, drag and drop it on that on that auto glass store. When we name our equipment, um, this might be the showroom, or equipment one, or equipment two, whatever you wanna name it, hit continue. And then again, uh, we could sync this to the cloud. So just go ahead and sync this to the cloud. And you don't have to unlock a project to sync it to the cloud. So now it's been uh, saved to the cloud. I'm just gonna hit back and we'll just exit out of the project here for a second. So we'll just delete the project and yes. And then you can see here that this new pin has been dropped on. So now I have a new site and a new piece of equipment here. So now again, if I were to if I were to go ahead and uh, start testing, and then go back to service, and then add equipment site. So now you can see um, all the equipment. Now this new piece of equipment showroom is up at the top. It's unlocked because I never unlocked it. So it's uh, if I go to service, it I'll want to unlock that and use the five qubits. But if I go to add equipment to a local site again now, it's going to pull up PW Auto Glass, Manifold Cloud Services, and True Tech Tools. So then I can add equipment to any of those sites now and manage it accordingly. So that gets you through um, the basics of that. And basically when you're doing, using any one of these, so if I select Manifold Cloud Services, select the Goodman Trainer, and I go through and do a test, then the test or the uh, results from that test are gonna be saved with a project. So um, we'd be able to view those on the cloud or email them to the customer or things like that. So when you remember, when you start a project, you're gonna associate equipment, uh, you're gonna associate that project with a site, you're gonna associate equipment, uh, sorry, let me back up and say it again. When you uh, arrive at a job site and you're gonna do a project, you're gonna associate that project with a site and then associate equipment with that site. And once you get that sort of in your head and you understand how it works, it'll make it really easy to add and manage uh, projects in MeasureQuick and reuse that data in the future.